So we're here with Linda Taylor in her studio, the Spotted Dog uh, print shop. And Linda uh, Taylor is an um, extraordinary printmaker and artist. And uh, she teaches also a lot of classes. And uh, Linda is going to give us a very quick demonstration of doing a woodcut. I'm rolling the ink now, I'm getting a very thin layer of ink on the brayer. So I'm just keeping, as you see, the ink in a small area. So it was already cut. The right, the design was already cut. The, the design was already cut, and now we're um, cutting to the chase with the inking. Right. Right. The white part is the area that was cut away. So now I'm rolling. But the cool thing is, when you are printing, you don't know exactly what's going to happen. That's one of the best parts about printmaking is that... The surprises? The surprises. The right. surprises. So now I have to get a piece of paper. Always good to test with an inexpensive piece of paper. I'm going to put this down. Now you need a certain kind of paper to allow the barren to slide. So I use wax paper. You can use a special Japanese paper, but I like wax paper because it's very cheap. <laughs> and I'm always, you know, when you were doing art, you're always trying to save money somehow. So you see the wax paper lets the baron slide. If yes. I didn't use it, it would be tearing the, the paper underneath. Yes, it glides real nicely yeah. on, on top of the wax paper. So I'm putting kind of an, a firm, even pressure onto the block. And take this off. And then I lift up my coat. And there it is. It's transferred onto my block. I mean, onto my paper. Mm -hmm. You see the image reverses when it prints. So that happens with any kind of printmaking process, mm -hmm. except silkscreen. So, silkscreen is direct. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like the, the textures in the background. I think it sort of activates the surface. Mm -hmm. It makes it more interesting than if it were plain white. So there we are. Fantastic. And if I didn't like them, I would just cut them away and they wouldn't print. Can you show us what it would look like on another paper, on a better paper? Do you have a little piece of art paper around? Yeah. Now again, this is kind of almost like a proof, but this is a much thinner, Mm -hmm. thinner paper. So it's going to absorb the ink. It's going to absorb the very ink. Very differently. Yeah, right? and the ink is going to actually come all the way through onto the back. So, very soft paper. Mm -hmm. So now I have to throw my wax paper away because it has ink on it. Yeah. But that's another reason why you use it instead of something more expensive. So there it is. Beautiful. And in a way, I'd like to show the difference, what happens when... Yeah, it's a little... Because this has a little bit of a texture, mm -hmm. and it's got a softer, slightly softer image mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. on the printed paper. And that's, a and that's what makes uh, printing so exciting, mm -hmm. because every impression is different. But then if you want um, a uniformity, in the, and if you make an addition and you want uniformity in it, mm -hmm. you have to be a master printer in order to, to create that with the inking and the pressure and mm -hmm. uh, all of that, correct? That's true. All right, well, Linda, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm glad to be of interest here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right.